Right here is what we are setting up. World's only instant pets, just add water, water purifier, instant live eggs, and growth food. Is that something? I think we might have a baby. Hello and welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today we have a package to open and something really exciting to set up. I don't know what this thing is, but I'm gonna use it to open it. All right, and now this right here is what we are setting up. Now, I'm sure a ton of you had these when you were younger. I definitely did, although they didn't ever last too long, but I am determined to make them last as long as they can. They really just grow the coolest sea monkey colony there is. And now before we get into this actual tank setup, I just want to tell you guys a little bit about sea monkeys because I feel like even if you've had them when you were younger, they don't actually really describe ever what they are and some really cool facts about them. Now, sea monkeys are actually a hybrid of brine shrimp. Oh no, they're not actual monkeys. Their lifespan is about two years, although they can live up to five. They don't have a tank minimum and their recommended water is around 75 degrees degrees and to also use distilled water, which I did pick up for this project. The females do have the babies and they have about 20 at a time. They also are light sensitive and they never really sleep, which is pretty interesting. I did also try to buy some sea monkey eggs from eBay for like a few dollars. Maybe I'll play some of that footage, but it just did not work out. So I decided to go get this kit from Amazon. Comment down below if you think they are going to hatch and if so, how many babies or sea monkeys do you think we're gonna get? But right now, let's go to the store and grab some water. Okay, so we have our distilled water because that is what is recommended. You can use tap water. However, I did use tap water in the last project that I tried. It wasn't the same company, but I did try tap water before and it did not work. So I am going to try distilled water. I'm gonna try to do everything right. And hopefully we will get some sea monkeys to hatch. Now, just looking at the outside of this thing, it says world's only instant pets, just add water ages six and up. They grow approximately two centimeters, which is almost an inch. And this is a list of all the things that this kit comes with. Now, they have the three simple steps on the back, which make it just sound so easy. So we are gonna have to see if it really is that easy to create our own instant pets. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. And right off the bat, we have this thing, which if you don't know what this is, we'll get into that in just a second but it is very important. Next, we have our little feeding spoon. It is super tiny. As you can see, I'm gonna try to get it to focus. We have this tiny little feeding spoon. We have our instructions, which I will be looking at very carefully. And then of course, we have our three steps. Water purifier, instant live eggs, and growth food. Now apparently it's just these three simple steps. So we're gonna have to see if that's true or not. Now, of course, to take the best part out, the tank. All right, so here it is. I gotta take it out of this other packaging, which looks kind of complicated. Now, as you can see, this is pretty small. It is about the almost the size of the palm of my hand or my hand. It's kind of hard to tell because this stuff down here isn't actually like where the tank is. But let me give you a close up look at this, which also makes this really cool because sea monkeys don't exactly have like a tank minimum or tank size requirement. So for the most part, it doesn't really matter how big it is, which is really cool because most pets have enclosure requirements and sometimes it's just too big, but this can literally just fit on your desk, on a shelf, pretty much anywhere. But let me give you a close up look at this tank because it is super cool. So this is what this tank looks like. It is the sea monkeys on Mars setup. And now as you can see, there is a tiny little sea monkey astronaut connected to this little space shuttle that is on top of all these rocks. And there's kind of like maybe some sort of lava or something pouring down into this little pool down here. And there's also this little rock cave tunnel thing. And this on top, I think is the magnifying glass, but really cool detail on this thing. I really, really love this one. I've had it saved for a while now. And another reason that I really love this is because a lot of the time when we set up enclosures, it does have to be natural stuff. And so sometimes we're missing out on some really colorful things. Okay, so here's just an overview review of everything that it came with. And then this thing, which I forgot to mention, is to add air to the tank. So you just pump it just like that and it adds air to your sea monkey tank because oxygen is very important for sea monkeys, especially baby ones. And now here are the instructions. And so as you can see, 75 to 80 degrees is the best for fastest hatching. I'm gonna go ahead and put it at 75. This way here, we can see them as soon as possible. Step one is to add the water and the first step. And we have to stir it and let it sit for 24 hours. I'm still going to use the water purifier. However, the distilled water should be purified enough. And the reason you use distilled water is because it doesn't have all those added chemicals, minerals, anything like that. 
Okay, and here we go to fill up the tank. Now we do have to keep in mind that line in the back of the tank. Also, this is only an eight ounce water bottle, so that gives you some idea as to how big this thing really is. And now since we added the water, we need to add packet number one. So just kind of open this up. This is what the inside looks like. And we're just going to go ahead and pour it in. Okay, so I just stirred it all in and there is a few tiny pieces, but I'll check back in a few hours and if they still haven't dissolved, I'll stir it around again just to make sure that it is fully dissolved and ready for the sea monkeys. But now the last step of part one is to wait 24 hours. So I'll see you guys then. Okay, so it is now 24 hours later and it is time to add in our sea monkeys. Well, step two, our sea monkey eggs. This is how the tank looks currently. All of the water purifier did dissolve. And as you can see, there's a bunch of little bubbles inside of here, which is good because not only do sea monkeys need oxygen but they also require it even more when they are babies so now it is time to add our sea monkey eggs into their setup I'll go ahead and take off the little lid here and open up step two now this right here is what the eggs look like i'm going to try to get it into focus but that right there is what step two looks like. I'm guessing the bigger white pieces are the eggs. I don't know what the rest of the stuff is, although I do know that they like feed off of algae, so it may be some sort of something to make the algae grow faster, but I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that. But let's go ahead and pour in our sea monkey eggs so that they can hatch. Well, as you can see, it is kind of turning the water blue, so I guess that other stuff also turns the water blue a little bit, kind of letting it do its process for a second, but it does say to go ahead and stir the water after you pour in your sea monkey. Stir it, like it said. I'm gonna go ahead and put the top back on because it only said to stir briefly. And now as you can see, step two, we added the eggs and then they're going to hatch and it says something about sunlight, which I read up here and it just says to have it in a place that is in a north facing window so it gets light but not direct sunlight, which will help the algae. And I do have a window nearby so it won't get direct sunlight, but it will get sunlight to help grow the algae in the tank. I will do my best to capture the very first moment that I see any have hatched inside of the tank. But right now, I want you guys to comment down below if you think any are going to hatch, and if so, how many sea monkeys do you think we're going to get? But I'll see you guys as soon as I see any movement inside the tank. Okay, so it is only like 28 hours after I put the eggs in. Let's see if we have any baby sea monkeys. Remember, I did put it to 75 degrees. So the longest it should take to see any babies is three days, but let's see if we have any in our enclosure. So I put the flashlight on so that maybe we could see a little bit better. I do know that they're very, very tiny when they are first born and they're like barely moving. So let's go ahead and take, oh, is that something? I think we might have a baby. Okay, I am going to, I'm gonna find it and then I'm gonna try and get it on camera, but I think there's at least one baby. I'm pretty sure I just saw one. So let me see and then I will turn the camera back on when I can find it. There is a sea monkey right here if you can see it moving i think you guys can probably see it i'll put an arrow on the screen but we finally have our first baby sea monkey now i don't know how many are in here because they are literally so 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 tiny it is impossible to really even see them never mind count them but i'm gonna guess that there is more than one in here because they move so slowly and i know that i saw one in the back of the tank like right back here and then also we saw the one in the front so i will check back in with you guys tomorrow but in the meantime now that we know that they did hatch comment down below how many you think we're going to see tomorrow on day two of putting in the eggs for these sea monkeys okay so it is the next day and this would bring us to 48 hours since we put the eggs inside of our setup so let's go ahead and see if they've grown or any more have hatched okay and right off the bat the camera is in fact picking up some different little sea monkeys, as you can see right back here, them swimming all around. There are a ton of sea monkeys in here and definitely a lot more hatched. Like I could probably count 10 just like sitting right here. Never mind the rest of the tank because I know some of them do like to be at the top, especially when they first hatch. So as we can see, there's at least two at the top up here. They're kind of by the little astronaut. But really, you can see so much activity right back here. I don't know why exactly they're in the back, but there are a ton swimming around. Now, I don't know if it was a coincidence, but if you remember those like orange dots or whatever that I thought may have been the eggs originally, they did like disintegrate and now there's a bunch more sea monkeys. So I don't know if those are the eggs or not, but either way, there are a lot more sea monkeys in here. The ones that hatched 
um the first day i think they're definitely grown i think the ones up here are probably from day one in something like i don't know if i can get on camera i just had it and i lost it something like these tiny little dots back here are probably more like the ones that hatched overnight and it is now day three 72 hours after we put the eggs in let me go ahead and show you the last update that i'm going to do in this video because i think i'm gonna do a part two and just record every single day and show their progress well right off the bat you can already see so many sea monkeys and on top of that you can see them without me really zooming in or doing much there are some that are different sizes and so let's see if we have any at the top that one's pretty big actually i don't know if you can see it on the left side of the screen there there are definitely some that probably just hatched overnight but then there are definitely some that are still from day one that are pretty large Take note that in this little like yellow lava section or whatever it's supposed to be there is a lot of like dots of stuff. I'm thinking that is probably algae, but I'm not 100% sure. And I don't know if you can tell on camera, but the water is a little bit blue, but there are a lot more sea monkeys than I would have ever expected to hatch in this setup. I expected maybe maximum, honestly, like five, but there are probably a good 20 sea monkeys in here. I mean, they're just, they're swimming everywhere. They're all over the screen. There's probably more than 20 actually, but there are just so many sea monkeys and I am so impressed with how this turned out. That is going to be a wrap for the updates in this video, part one if you will. But I am super excited for how this is turning out and honestly the ones that I bought from eBay, obviously they were probably just in the mail too long or something, the eggs just probably weren't good. I did use tap water so that could have also had an impact and maybe it wasn't warm enough, but this tank is definitely thriving and I am so excited to see how it progresses. I'm gonna keep it in the exact same spot Everything's gonna stay the exact same just to see how big these sea monkeys can get, how many we can have, and maybe even have some females give birth as well. I mean, looking at this thing up close, like looking at the top of it, just looking at the whole tank, I feel like there's too many to even be in this little thing. But who knows? We'll just have to see. If there are any videos you want me to do with sea monkeys, definitely comment down below. Like I said, I will do a part two at the very least to continue documenting their progress of the tank and their growth and things like that, see what happens. And who knows? I may get another one of these setups or I may just do like a DIY one and just see how big we can make a sea monkey colony. But that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys like sea monkeys and I will see you guys in the very next video. Bye.